Games like Manufactoria, Infinifactory, Opus Magnum, Great Permutator, which by the way is horribly unknown, and more people should know about this game. This conveyor belt puzzle game concept has been done a lot, but this conveyor belt game is something else entirely. Some time ago, I did my Squishcraft playthrough, which is basically the most cursed laser puzzle game about a squishing mechanic. Well, the developer of that game has made Fractal Factory, which is is a basically it's taking that cursed concept into the conveyor belt genre of puzzle games. OK, it seems like these are stuck in the level and I press play. There is OK, I see that this purple arrow is bringing this block to the target and it's counting it down. So I want to do the same thing, but with this other target. There we go. And I can speed things up as well. So yeah, and you'll see why that, oh wow, 42, I'm, apparently 42 wasn't the best. Yes, it is optimization as well. Why can I press W and S to increase the number on it? What does that mean? Hmm, let's go back to the next, well, let's go to the next level. And you can see already that this is very different from other conveyor belt genre games just due to the looping around now. And it's going to get even more cursed than just that. Since we got a blue block, that can be moved and we want it inside the orange. We cannot stack blocks. The way parity works, it's not gonna allow me to get into the orange easily. So I must need to use some sort of like um, way to bring the block over. I, I really hope it isn't that inefficient, but it does seem like that is the, that is what's going to happen. It's gonna be inefficient and we're gonna love it. Okay, let's build downwards from here, then left, and actually the left position doesn't go here it's, it's a little unintuitive the way that it captures but it needs to go like this and then it can go into the target so yeah we have to go between different parities because the simple way does not work freaking 29 cycles serious also we can zoom out far <laughs> okay level select walls Okay, we need 20 regular blocks to go in here now. We also got, what, conveyor? What is this? Is it two range conveyor? Okay, what does this do? It goes right over the wall, all right. So we just need to go here and then do this. All right, there you go. Wait, oh my gosh, that wasn't the only target and uh, Okay, so like there's two rows of targets or two columns. We want to think about it the other way, I guess. Um, okay, so then let's set it up like this and this should be fine. Wow. <laughs> okay, once again, the cycle count could be improved, but I do not know how. It might just be that multiple things can grab into the source block belts. Okay, let's watch. So if I press play, does that even loop around? It does loop around. Okay. So those orange things are belts. And in fact, they have good, like they work well with trying to switch parity because of that. We can do like here and uh, here. Okay. All right. Once again, I have overdone the cycles um, tunnel. So the interesting thing about the tunnel is, well, I I'm not sure if it's faster. It probably is faster to use some of these hyper, um, I was going to say conveyor belts, but now that we have an actual conveyor belt, that makes less sense. We have the hyper belt, I guess. So this will turn and then this will probably want to go upwards. And then crucially for like this one, we'd like this to turn and then this could go over the gap, which is what's going to happen there. We can even hop over this one. Nope, not that way. This way. And then, okay, this is quite a lot of cost, but let's watch. There you go. Hopping over the walls. I'm not sure if there's any meaning for the top right thing. I don't know if it's just like a time ticker or whatever. Hmm. And also, like, is there a way to get a better cycle? Oh, I can get one less cost? Hmm. No, you see what I need to do here is like streamline the hell out of the left side. Like I do this, then I can hop over the gap using this, then get rid of uh, well, one of these. But that this gets its 12 cost. Yep. There you go. 
Honestly, I am dreading the cycles optimization. If I have to make two copies of each as the way every cycle level goes. Okay. Now, why is the background A's now? Shift and left mouse to drag objects. All right. They're just the... Uh, he's... Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. They're differently scaled. And I can also... Like, the target and source are in my inventory. I still don't know what the hell this this smile is, by the way. Is that going to be a final endgame reveal of what this does? Right, but this is confusing, though. Why wouldn't it be, like, easy? Like this? Or is it just doing this so... Hmm. Oh, what? Wait, what? We only have 8 out of 32? How do we get the other if there's only 8 on in a source? <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, no, no. There's no meta-breaking stuff here, is there? Huh? What the hell just happened? We grabbed smaller pieces from it? Oh my gosh. And uh, why is it upside- I hate that the number is also upside down. Fix that now. <laughs> here. So we should be able to grab from each part of the eight, right? And then have it all convey into one, I hope. Oh, no, we got some stacking problems. Okay. Maybe down pointing? No, there's still stacking because it's a little... These go a little too fast and cause the stack. Um, so let's check where the er where the error is. It happens because things try to stack a little too fast. And if like these blocks were slower, we would have a problem. It doesn't happen when I do this, does it? Nope, too fast. Does it happen here? Yes, it still happens. When they when this and this try to stack on top of each other, they do cause an overlap fail. I can't find a way to make them fine. Wait, I have a question. If this... Let's say we try to put this here. Does that count as one towards the eight or like... No. You... Okay. So you don't want to make it big because it would require all the quarters to be there. Okay, I am not proud of doing this, but I mean, I cannot think of a way to like fix this issue. It's, it's really ridiculous. This issue only happens because these are too slow. I mean, too fast. But okay, this works. It, oh. Wow, way to get a new cycle best. Now that's just ridiculous. Isn't this the one... This, this, this is one of those levels where you could easily grab one of these one turn and one the other turn? Like, that is the... That is how previous cycle savings have happened, so I don't know. I don't know if the number is some sort of priority thing too, by the way. Because it's definitely not speed. But okay. And the cost was 20 too. That really implied that 23 was close. I... Anyway. Let's just go to the next level. Oh shoot, that's what the UI is. Oh, oh lol. Okay, that's actually a pretty confusing UI in my opinion. I had previously just assumed this somehow represented cycle the check mark. Uh <laughs> Finally we have achieved design perfection. And what we have a one block and one target. But okay, explain now why this isn't easy. Just putting it in, in there. No. Oh, we need one of 40. Oh my gosh. We're gonna need to take a part of this in the bigger zone. Oh, jeez. This is amazing. But, like, it doesn't make sense to only take a part. So, like, does it mean that not only do I take a part from it, but I need to put it back where it was? Like, in its smaller forms? Oh my gosh. Well, not exactly, because this is the... F a quarter of this is the full-size block here. So I would imagine that like three of the four blocks contribute to the total. I'm sure if I should move all this to one over, by the way. Yeah, moving it over seems like a good idea. I could even like move this here and then put this in position and then have it replaced. So watch. Oh, freaking goddammit. I hate when the brain works too fast. Okay, this works if I have it farther apart again. And just add one step of delay because you can see that one quarter of the block is replacing the one that is lower down. Ugh, amazing. Infinity. How the hell is it switched from the cycles being the fastest, but now the cost sucks? How is this possible? Okay, I got the seven cost now, I think, which is weird because, like, this isn't that different other than the fact that instead of this going between boundaries, it stays in one boundary, just exits the other. But yeah, I mean. This just seems to work. So, okay. And it's even the best in cycles. Okay. 
Jeez, this is only in the easy section. This is insane. Garbage. Do we finally have a garbage thing now? Huh. And we got like purple on that side. I don't know what to think about that. Uh, we surely can just take it. Well, hmm. Wait, how in the world do you get rid of that stuff? There's like purple in there and we can't get rid of it. I guess the only thing that makes sense is like... Yeah, is to just throw it down the chain somehow. Oh, no, no, the re- Okay, sorry about the late discovery, but the reason the last level worked so well, uh, but the cost, because we didn't need, like, three or four- like, We didn't need four yellow conveyors to do what one conveyor could. That's what gave the cost savings. Okay, but we still need a way to, like, throw this down or, like, get rid of the garbage, and... I mean, I thought this would be the garbage deleter, but it is actually not. Hmm. No, okay, okay. So, for this level specifically, we should not actually do the same as last level because the purple is obviously junk. I don't know if we can delay it to choose, like, to split them. I guess maybe something like this. I don't know. Hmm. And, <laughs> like, what? I see that the piece of garbage is going up here, but I can't, can I make it fit inside the hole in there? I get that I'm scaling it up to try to waste more of it, but that won't get rid of it totally. Hmm. Forgot to put the finish tile there. What? Why doesn't it work? What? Oh gosh, I, the orientation matters for it, doesn't it? Ah, I hate that. Okay, hold on. Gotta rotate that in the same way. Okay. Hmm, the location of that and the way it's conveying isn't working right now. Okay, so currently, like, the, the last thing I did, currently the purple is still stuck there, so I want to bring it out to the left, because that's the direction when things scale up. Okay, it's it goes here. So then I want to scale it again, and that... That causes a loop of... Look, look at the thing over here. That is like infinite space down there. That's perfect, right? It's just going into itself. Oh, that is so awesome. <sighs> okay, cost is the best and I don't care about the cycles. What is this? Okay, nice. Okay, so what's priority after all? S and W were grabbers with smaller numbers grab first. Hmm. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of things on this level that are already, like, forced to be there, I guess you could say. Hmm. Hold on. Like, those- I, I see that these are alternated 5 and 3, or even negative 5 and negative- I can't even tell. What exactly am I supposed to do? Like, those are between 3 and 5, so I'm supposed to use 4, correct? So, I try to set this, um, 1, 2, 3, 4. Does this work? Or is it actually negative? It's probably actually negative. Okay, hold on. So negative four. And does that bring out a different one? Yes, it does. Look at that. Ah, oh, great. All right. User interface slash user experience. All right. Disable. Okay, when press disables. Okay. Hmm. And I can still give it a number to it. Disables with the same number. Okay, so, and, and pressed means when there's something on it. Like, I could set this to 1. And then it may, it might stop the grabber. Okay, nice. Nice idea there. Okay. So now we have a 3 and a 4. I don't know. It looks like we make an alternator, but... I don't know if that's what they're really going for. Why can't I rotate the X? Why? That's such a troll. Um, 3 and 4. This, 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 no, no, this doesn't make sense. It should disable three. Hmm. But wouldn't this disable three all the time? Uh, hmm. And then you would want another thing to disable four. Kind of just like wing it right there. I mean, it seems to do the job of alternating between three and four, so there you go. Okay, cost was, what, two? How do I get two? What if there's only a uh, three on this side, right? Come on, three. Okay, now, on the turn, on this turn, 
3 is de deactivated. But that the activation prevents it from being deactivated for a few cycles after. Okay, there you go. There's your two cost. Enable. When not pressed. Alright, this that's the opposite. Hmm. Okay. And huh. Rotated question mark. It also like has an effect for if it has no number on it and then the rest of the number lists are disabled so if i start this now you see these two blocks i see so they're trying to make a four block okay so you put a check mark there and um we should make that negative one yeah because this is this grabber is negative one so now when that block gets hit that means the square has been made so that allows this to work there you go And that was the only, pretty much the only thing to do. Reverse. Oh my gosh, new mechanic. Rotates with the same number, and it's a conditional rotation. Hmm, we have one block, seemingly. We would almost like to get it out and split here. Very strange. This is a belt. We should give it a number. Okay. And then what? So we, should, we can switch to this and, like, make it take part of it? Hmm, because we do want to effectively duplicate this block a bunch. Okay, I'm, I'm accidentally making these all ones. I, it kind of feels like it could be a bad idea. Hmm. I hate that we get four blocks and we have to lock side one. I, okay. Okay, this is the new kind of idea I have. I feel like this is the kind of thing we'd want. But, but with a number on this one. So they can flip. Too bad I got this crappy conveyor set up again where I'm like obviously spending too many conveyors here. We could get one of them to the left, I guess. Okay, and then whatever happens to this block, which is in this position where my cur cursor currently is, could head down here. I know this is very inefficient uh, use of these belts, but I don't know what to think. And then we could have a flipper on one. So we set this to one and watch. Does this ever get to one? Yes, it does. Okay, so I believe this works. It's just very un... very not great that these are lopsided there's probably a way to design it so it's not lopsided and it's evenly split through some kind of like um you know <laughs> saving of state but you know I'm, I'm fine with this i i don't know okay rotation next uh <laughs> oh great love it the rotation is weird it's like these are upside down to each other which means this top right i mean not top right the top left one must go like down and into the bottom right screen, right? I didn't mess up the bottom arrows on that one. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, obviously we would want to be efficient about it, so we're going to use the super... Damn it, I, I, I don't have good visual intuition for this thing. Um, especially because, like, you can't actually get the parity perfect, which is a little annoying. Hmm. Okay, fine, we'll put it there, conveyor it, over over here then this should work okay why oh my gosh this is an orange oh my i'm so freaking dumb here's your blue and we only have one source okay it's a source of it which is fine all right whatever so the rotation does cause some confusion and difficulties here you can zoom in to get a better view of the rotation here um thing is like you take this and the upside down one is also taken from you so you could probably set up an alternator like look at this we could on the other turn pick that up or it doesn't really matter which turn it does all it matters is that this then goes into the correct one on the other side okay <clears throat> so you can pick this up here it will end up here okay this looks good right Okay, well, it's impossible to follow what the hell is going on, but, you know, it is what I said. Okay, so, you, you know, no, I don't care. <laughs> Level select, highway, all right, we got another one of these rotation. I believe it is the same kind, and, well, we, we clearly can't do this because that's the wrong rotation, so we need to bring this, like, from here to a different path. W which one does this correspond to? The bottom... Of course, it corresponds to the upside down. Hmm. 
Okay, well, well, I'll try to make that work. Oh, this looks so spaghetti. But, like... <laughs> the path... I'm just putting two paths here. It shouldn't look weird, but it does. Okay. Like, one path is... Like, the, the weird... The thing that makes it look weird is how many of the paths intersect, but it is a very straightforward path. I say that and the screen looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I, I promise the path is straightforward. Come on. Like, see? It's going up. It's going here, down there, here. Okay. Okay, that's enough showing that freaking level. Alright. Level select, offset. Okay, now we have an offset. What is it like? Okay, this reminds me of that one level in uh, the, the, the Cursed Sokoban that I never uploaded. But in fact, I did upload, so now saying that it's the one I never uploaded is uh, a bit of a lie. <laughs> okay, so this, that is, that's, that's cursed. I need to fix the corners to make that work. Is there a small, like, this isn't even something I can put anything in. Um, wait, what? Oh no, that's so bad. These are offset, so it'll take the top half oh no <laughs> and then i'll do the same on the vertical because you know because you know hate filled oh it's god so cursed yeah i don't even know where the pieces are at this point to arrange them properly oh geez i think this goes um well this needs to go through screens again okay if we have them all split into damn it hmm what I was gonna say is if we have them all split into their quarter parts, we do not actually. But look, if we did, then we could arrange them. Um, it's probably spent a lot of costs to do it, but we could do it. And it would be simple from there. Okay, look at this. So we have this position here. Um, so this will move in and split those into corner, uh, quarters immediately. We want to do the same effect on the other side. This is probably a good use for the priority system. Okay, I set this one to negative one, so that works. And then I can pull the same thing from this side. Uh, not quite. No, because it needs horizontal. Um, so then, so th okay, shoot, it does need horizontal. Um, hmm. so what does that look like? It looks like that. Okay, but does, doesn't this answer what I wanted to do here? Which which was, was to split these into quarter parts, because now they're, they should be on quarters, right? Split this here. Okay. Just, let, just putting these down just to show every part of it going together. No, like that's the... Ugh, I hate... Hmm. They shouldn't be overlapping the bottom left corner. How do I fix that? Okay, what if we don't do any complicated splitting? Instead, I just have this move two offsets. And on this grid, you see that these are already on a single cell. Each corner piece is already on a single cell, so I just need to combine them and it's all good, right? Let's uh, get the finish in here. Not, not upside down, probably. <laughs> okay, here. Oh, come on! Actually, can we just do this? Like, once we did that... Nope. Hmm. Let me get rid of these two. And then... Okay, that looked actually like a good idea. Despite the failure. We could, like, save it here, right? Those, those waste the correct amount of moves. There we go. And then we... After moving this down... I guess through here... We should be able to do the same thing. And then... Uh, finish tile. Conveyor belt. And there we go. Right? Okay. There we go. Okay, perfect. Look at that. Ten out of set. You suck. Next level's called... What? Okay, um, next level is called Void. What? Purple? I mean, what? Are we finally going to be able to do anything with the junk? Seemingly not. Why is it called void if the black isn't even so we could put anything in? Um, hey, but this is extremely weird. There's no way, and I think there is no way. Like, we, we need to discard something because the, there's no un downscaling. Maybe it's like... 
Like, I, I see you can do that, which is quite suspicious, right? So, you could try this, rotate it here. Ha! Alright, good job. Nice. You can't directly get it in there, but you could cut part of it off. Let's move these down one so that we can also try it on this edge, maybe? Hmm. Alright, this might be embarrassing moving them all back up again. <laughs> so they can get to this edge instead. Okay. Does that cut it off? And it's gonna cut off the wrong one. Oh, no it isn't. Okay, so now we have just the correct tile. Hmm. Isn't that not even a full tile? We need to, like, arrange four cor- Jeez. Okay, I'm sorry everyone, but I didn't lick my ring finger enough today, so I am not motivated to try to arrange this single blue piece and rotate it just to get four of them. So, it's back to level select for me. What is giant? Great, we got- Oh my gosh, what are these shapes we can make? So it's like the previous kinds of levels where we had a- like recursion in a corner but rotated this time 16 and what is this checkerboard thing i'm what oh no there better be an elegant way to do this so otherwise uh i'm gonna complain like i guess you could do that on a tile it's not even a full tile um hmm. and then try to pick it up from afar of course or really the the, the like the that's the biggest one that's picking up everything inside huh literally the whole thing so you could do that and, <laughs> and pick up any little arrangement. That might even be too big. Okay. Hmm. So we could do this. And then could we put in the, the 16 by 16 here? Or would that not be a good size? What about here? Oops. Hold on. So 16. This is 8. But if I went to here, wouldn't it be like a quarter? And so it wouldn't be good enough? Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know about this. Like, you would grab that, but you would then want to grab the other half as well. What if I set it underneath? Is it then grabbable from the other side? Nope. You know what? Once again, my mind is not there for this. So I'll just make a poopy solution, and uh, it will work. You know, it'll just be ridiculous the whole time. So you can do that, and then you'll make the big old checkerboard. So we can just have the... Which one was the stable and which one was not again? <laughs> um... Right, you can make that a 1, and then have the 1 over here that picks it up once that's done duplicating. Okay, there you go. Hopefully... Are the checkerboard position wrong? Are you kidding me? Okay, there we go, alright. 35 cost, but you know... <laughs> 18 cost is the best. Hmm... Isn't 18 literally 16 source squares, one exit square, and then one other thing? Can it be done in effectively one other thing? I don't know. I need strawberry flavor for my ring finger. Anyway, this is now... Okay, we got green. Yeah, I guess it's green. Why not? So what is the idea of this level? There's only one. Okay. So this is, we require an infinite because we only have one green block, in, and that's not a source of green. Hmm. Hmm. I, I think okay, what about this? I don't know what we'll do with the other junk. But at least this will get us the checkerboard pattern we wanted, I hope. Like, hmm. it doesn't even offset correctly. Okay, here. This should get it on the correct position on the grid, although we will need to delay it potentially. So let's set up this with number one on it. And then this will be number one. Okay, then this will make the shape. Yes, there we go. So that's one. And then ugh, I don't know what to do with the junk tile here. So again, like we have the loop going, we have the goal going, but we have too much junk in the way. How do we get rid of that junk? I guess we send it up, which is what, pre what we've previously been doing with junk anyway. Hmm. Nope. Something got overlapped, which I was expecting to happen. Probably need to make it on the same, like, row, like, last time somehow. Yep. The overlap is now here. Okay, let's... Once again, I'm gonna put stuff here and here. And now, like, the junk is on the top left and it's constantly flowing to the top left. So, let's see where it goes. It goes up there. It goes back up and is... I... I think it's gone. Or like... 
Ugh, where does it even come up from? <laughs> well, look, I'm not complaining. It seems like the pile of junk is, like, sitting there untouched. Okay. Hell level, to be honest. Okay. Brain damage and spiral. Ye yellow outputs do not consume blocks and require different output. Oh, no. We need different... Oh, cute. Gradually more deranged cutting the corner off or something. Not even cutting the corner, but not even... Not just cutting the corner, but putting down another piece of it. So the top corner needs to be taken off. Okay, set this up. Nope, nope, nope. This needs to come first. Okay, I'm just gonna make that five generically. Hmm. So it likes that. And then we want to get this into this position again. But how would it know it needs to get lower and lower? I guess that means that it needs to be taken off of the yellow. Okay, this is... Look at how... This position, where what I have right now, this is going into here. That's very tempting to put, like, up there. It's slightly inefficient, but... Yeah, okay, the timing's off because I screwed up. But if I move everything down one, does this work out? Uh... No, it doesn't. Hmm. There's a problem where the thing over here isn't gone, but oh well. We only need to do a loop like five times anyway. Oh, wait! No, this works, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. The only reason it was failing was because these junk tiles didn't have enough going with on with them, and if I can just delay it enough, then it should work. Okay, we got to four out of five. Two, three, top right says five out of five, and there we go. Cycles 11, that was the best in cycles. Spiral again. I'm not doing another spiral, am I? <laughs> Triangle. Okay, now it's surround. It's halved. This is actually unhinged. You can even, like, take the center of these blocks to get a new triangle in them that's exactly the same. You would need to get rid of the purple and science somehow. I- no, no. This is too much. That's apparently 18% done. I don't know. Chess Battle Advanced. Also, thanks for having more save files than a lot of games nowadays.